Hi, good afternoon. I think I'm live. Good afternoon, Ruth Baba. I see you. If you're just saying me, if you can see me, please say hello. Uh, we are live. I am here. Thank you for joining me. It's Tuesday, 2 p.m. class. Who is as excited as I am? Good afternoon, peace. Good to have you here. Please, if you're just joining me for the first time, tell me where you're watching me, um, that you're joining me for the first time. Put a hashtag. And if you've been watching me, please, just tell me where you're watching me from. Tell me a hi. I would appreciate that. Ahoma, thank you for being here. Ezine, I see you on YouTube. Hey, I see you YouTube people. I see you on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, if you're just coming in, tell me where you're watching me from. I'm streaming live from Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. Hi, Ucha. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I think I can imagine me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Susu. Thank you. Hi, Bukola from Togo. Good day. I see you, Yadas. Hi, Mary. So today we're talking on something pretty very much interesting. We're going to get on it soon. Imagine me. Patricia from Child Republic. Oh, wow. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Omolala. Hi, Johnny. I see you. Hi, Mr. Peter. I see you, sir. Hi, Casey. Hi, Mark from West Indies. Okay, I have a lot of people joining in from outside of Nigeria today. Okay. All right, so we stop the music and I'm here. My name is Wendy Ologe. I am the founder of the Intentional Parents Academy. Thank you for joining me. I see that we have quite a number of people right here on the in the studio, right? I am streaming live from the capital city of Nigeria. In case you're watching me outside Nigeria, I am streaming live from Abuja. If you're watching me on YouTube, please say hello. I can see a lot of people on YouTube already. So we're streaming live both on our YouTube channel and also on our Facebook group, all right? You will, you will be able to actually share um, our video from Facebook, from YouTube. But because our Facebook channel, our Facebook group is a private group, you won't be able to share. So if you want people to actually watch, all you need to do is to tag the person right here. All right. Hi, Atim. Hi, Avenger. Hi, Casey. I see you all. Yeah, that's... Hi, Alison. Thank you so much. Tell me where you're watching me from. I can see people from West Indies, from Togo, from the UK, from the US. Everywhere, but Talcock, Lagos, Medjugiri, I see my friend. Thank you all for coming in here to be with me. It's 2 p.m. We are here every Tuesday, 2 p.m. We don't miss it. We keep to time. Oh, yes. Every Tuesday, we are here. Hi, Ozama. Thank you for saying hello. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, Efion. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And today, we're looking at something pretty, very much important and interesting. Hi, Lizzie. Senior Yadas, thank you for being here. Okay, all right. So, thank you, everyone. Um, hi, Adaiwu. Um, hi, Alison. Hi, Ejogu Gloria. Forgive me, Triumph. Forgive me if I'm not able to mention your name. It's coming so fast, faster than I can imagine. And hey, I see you, Stephanie, from a degree. Thank you for joining in. All right. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning. If this is your first time watching me ever, on our Tuesday broadcast, right? This is our church ground. <laughs> Just put hashtag first time watching. We want to do the you are welcome kind of thing for you, yes? 
we like the first timers. All right, just put hashtag first time watching you. Okay, I am streaming live, like I said earlier, from Abuja, which is the capital city of Nigeria. Thank you again. My name is Randy Ologi. I'm the founder of the Intentional Parent Academy. I am privileged to have you know a lot of parents work with a lot of parents over the years, and every Tuesday, as a way to give back, as a way to also charge you, I am here every Tuesday at 2 p.m. sharing things, tips, parenting nuggets. What you're going to get here is tips and hacks. Even though we usually will say parenting is not about tips and hacks, but hey, it's a good place to start from, right? So here we are today talking about yelling. Yelling. I know that yelling is a big deal. <laughs> when I shared this particular conversation, right, the first time, and you know, um, it, it was it was it was it was something for a lot of people. Today, I shared that I was going to be live talking about yelling. I saw lots and lots of. In fact, you don't want to know how many chats I have. I've not been able to do so much. My team have sent me a lot of things, and yet, you know, I've not been able to respond because. That have had parents saying, is it possible to stop yelling? Oh, is it, is it even, why do I need to stop yelling? It's just part of me. It's just an African thing. I'm going to start with this story. I shared it in my Mommy Chronicles on our, on our Instagram page. We do Mommy Chronicles every Monday. And I shared how I got into a car and, you know, it was an Uber ride. So my son and I um, were going to go and my daughter, I have a set of twins, by the way. And, you know, they got into the car and they strapped their seatbelts. And then my son was fiddling with that seatbelt. And then he said to the rider, excuse me, sir, um, can you please help me because I need help? And the man said, okay, so what would that help be? And he said, please, my um, seatbelt, I can't strap my seatbelt. I need to actually bring it out because it was stuck in. And then... The next thing, um, the Uber rider turned to me and said, did you just get into the country? It was an interesting conversation. And I said, no, why? He said, because the children that we raise here are not this polite one. And they also do not, why should any child want to strap a seatbelt? Wow. That got me thinking. And I said in that post that we're constantly thinking that the African child should be less. Which is why we say things like it does not work for Africans. Which is why we say things like, oh, this one is horrible. These are some of the things that we say. And, you know, we hamper on the growth of the people that we're supposed to raise to change our continent. So many of the things, times, I also see it in our Facebook community. If you're watching me on YouTube, you can join our Facebook community. I constantly see that, you know, go around on our Facebook community, always repeating itself, where people say things like, this is not the African child. The African child would normally not even, this parenting style does not work for the African child. I've been privileged to work closely with almost a thousand parents. In fact, this year alone, we're working closely with over 600 parents. And I tell you something. Part of the things that I started sharing with them when we started, you know, a lot of them were confused. But in one month, two months, they're beginning to see the possibility of being able to use these tools, these strategies to raise these same people that we say that these tools are not for. Unfortunately, these are some of the things that we were told. We need to be able to unlearn some of these things. So today we're talking about yelling, and I want your mind to be open. Um, somehow, I might not be able to hit, you know, as hard as share some things that I would normally would share with the parents in the inner circle. If it's in the inner circle, I would have, you know, started you know, <laughs> talking to them right now. But I'm going to take it one step at a time. Also, so that I don't lose you, right? So please join me. Follow me as we go. What do you exactly understand as yelling? 
What does yelling mean to you? Every match, March is my birthday, by the way, my birthday is on the 10th. And every March of every year, I, I try to do, you know, stuff about yelling. It's my birthday month. Last year, I wrote a book called From Yelling to Calm, actually, yes. And it, it was actually published on the 5th of March. So yelling is one of the things that I found as a coach that was one of the biggest, you know, problems that we have in our client. And I also realized it's because of patterns, the patterns that we have been raised with, right? And for everything I'm going to share with you, really, I might not be able to share the story, but just know that I have also walked the journey of being a yeller and being a calm parent. So my journey, what I shared in that book was my journey. So it's not about the next person. It was my journey, right? So let me see in the comment section. What are the reasons why you yell? Can you tell me the reasons why you yell? Just one reason, one line. Why do you yell? Why do you find yourself yelling? What are the things that happen that make you yell? That will help us kick off while you're at it. What are the things that you have found that have made you, you know, yell either in the past or in the now and all of that? A parent recently sent to me, I know I should stop shouting, but I can't. Because, of course, my children are not listening. Why is it that you are a yeller? Why are you a yeller? Can you share with us? Why are you a yeller? Somebody said frustration. Frustration. Hi, Kechi. In a circle parent. Yada. Why you ask your child to do something and she does not do it? Interesting. Because I'm frustrated. Blessing said to be heard. I love this. As I said, stressed. So I love it to be heard. So of course, your children can hear, right? So you need to yell so that they can hear you. Awesome. I yell when I'm being ignored. When I'm speaking to my children and they are not listening. When my children are not responding when I speak to them. Finding to say a thing over and over again, that makes you yell, yes? When he urinates on his body or pulls on his body. Oh, wow. Frustration of repeat behaviors. Interesting. When the kids don't listen to simple instructions. My kids don't do things at the right time. Ah, that's a good reason, yeah? I yell when... Um, I'm being ignored, speaking to my children, right? I, I, unmet expectations, disobedience. Wow. These children don't hear what? Interesting. To get my child to do the right things. Awesome, 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 awesome. And you know, when you look at all of this that you have shared, can you see one recurrent letter that was there? I. I, I. So I want you to take out something today. Our first quote is, your children are not the reason you yell. You are the reason and you have the solution. Your children are not the reason you yell. You are the reason and you have the solution. Hi, Dr. Emmanuel. You are the reason and you have the solution. I'm going to tell you why I am saying this. Mm. I can see all the reasons. Valid. I tell you, your reasons are valid. Tope, you are an old star. <laughs> you know, your reasons are valid. Very, very, very key reasons. But what one recurring factor, like I said, was I, the I, and the I. You know, when a parent said, you know, you know, this to me, the truth of the matter is that most times we get, all right, addicted to behavioral patterns, especially when we are parented with those patterns. And as it with many addictions, many addictions, we don't even realize that we are yelling. And then when someone tells you, you raising your voice, you say, no. I'm not raising my voice. I just want them. I just want them to listen. At some point, you even begin to deny it. 
You will begin to tell yourself that no, I'm not yelling. I am not yelling. I'm just trying to correct them. You argue. Every addiction, every addiction, just like yelling, works on patterns. And many of the times, yelling in itself comes from our past. And it comes as if, you know, there's something that's happening that you cannot, you know, get away with. There's something that Daniel Coleman calls it, the emotional hijacking. You know, Daniel Coleman is the father of emotional intelligence. You can, you can find out about him. He says it that the parents cast spells on their children when they are reacting unconsciously. But what I tell the parents in the inner circle is that your aim is being here is not perfection. Your aim is consciousness and intentionality. The more intentional you are, the more you begin to realize that some of these patterns are just patterns and they are addictions without us even knowing. Think about all the things that you were told when you were growing up. All the spells, I call it the spells. The stupid one, the smart one. So don't think that when you were praised to be the smart one, it makes it okay either. We were having a session um, in the inner circle level two and we had a guest who was trying to share the psychology behind labeling. And when we talk about labeling, we're not even talking about labeling just for the negatives. Now, when parents say, oh, but it's not, I'm not labeling negatively. Even you say, oh, this is the smart one, is a label. The smart one, the stubborn one, the one who reads everything, the good one, the best child, they are all labels. You must be careful how you do those labels. Let's move. When you yell, you may have all the good intentions, but what your children hear is something you didn't intend. You know, when we talk about intentions, people tell me, but it was not my intention to do this. It was not my intention to do this, right? So many of the times, yes, your intentions, you know, it's, it's for you. I don't think, I don't think um, 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 it's, it's um, it, any parents, you know, sets out to do the wrong things. No parent does. All of us have good intentions. Every single one of us. All right? Hi, David. <laughs> Every single one have good intentions as parents. You like to raise your children to be this, to be that, to be all that. But what is the process? What process are you using to actually get there? What process are you using to actually get there? All right? So you need to ask yourself, that this yelling that we are talking about, is it really the way out? I'm going to show you some of the reasons why you need to even begin to rethink this process in itself. So it's okay for us to argue that that's the only way. <laughs> but when you see the danger in that only way, maybe it will help you to have a rethink. And then it will help you to say, I want to commit to learning it. Yesterday, we had an induction, induction for the inner circle parents in, in March batch. And one of the things that I tell the inner circle parents to commit to is, I want to be part of my rescue mission. Nobody can rescue you without you participating in your own rescue mission. Nobody, nobody can help you. So you need to be able to help yourself. Now, just to be clear, this session is not a judgment session, all right? It is a session to tell you that this is possible to parent without yelling. I call it parenting with peace and calm. It is possible. I know what it feels like. You are not alone. I have also failed. So when you read my book, Connect to Correct, you see me share where I was sharing, now, how, where I started from, where I'm coming from. But you know what? I decided to hold myself accountable. At some point, I had to do an honest review of where I was. 
Have you ever sat down to take responsibility for the patterns you were raised in? Those patterns you were raised in are they the best? Is there something better? You know, instead of us to say, no, that's what my parents did, and I'm going to do it like that. Nobody's going to tell me to do it otherwise. Listen to yourself when you say those things. The fact that you, an adult actually did it, or your parent, does it make it right? Hmm. There's something that we call the, the, um, the Stockholm Syndrome in, in psychology. We're going to get there. You can commit to breaking this circle. The questions you, I want you to ask today is, if you're asking this question, does your yelling fall short of getting the desired results? Does your yelling fall short of getting the desired results? Do you find yourself yelling when you don't realize you are yelling, you know, when someone, those times when somebody will say, or your children can even say, Mommy, why are you shouting? Now you're like, I'm not shouting. I'm just trying to correct it. <laughs> Is yelling easier for you than staying calm? Do you yell more often than you would like to? Does your family say you yell a lot of the times? If your answer is yes to any of the questions, you might actually be fighting being a yelling addict. You need to be careful. The first step to actually to do this is to actually take responsibility. Now I'm going to share with you why yelling. Yelling is a big deal. The way we talk to our children becomes their inner voice. I don't know about you, but I still hear the voice of my parents saying something. Just recently, there's a particular word my father says when you are going to do something wrong, right? And he says it in Hebrew, right? In my dialect. No, if you're not from my place, you might not even understand it. So I'd rather I'll, I'll save you all of that. You know, he says it, and anytime he says it, it means caution. And just recently, my brother was going to do something, and I called and I said those words, and we had a good laugh. It, it still rings in my head when I want to do something. Think about when your child is trying to make a poor decision. What will they hear? What will they hear? So your first reaction is usually feeling to your frustration, anger, disappointment, and all of that when things happen. But is that really what you should be doing? Many times, parents tell me, it's not possible to just talk. I can't just, I can't just talk. How can you tell us to just talk? A lot of parents come with all of that. I laugh. Parents that I've worked with in the past one to two years will tell you that it is possible. You are you are the one making those choices. All of these choices, they are yours. They are yours. Right? So you're making those choices yourself. Don't kid yourself. You have wired your children to only respond to your yelling and your shouting. That's why they can't listen. That's why they can't listen. Yelling has effects on your children. There's no such thing as a perfect child. I won't even begin to, to tell you what I tell the inner circle parents. I, I'm not interested in raising and what you call the obedient child. That's a conversation I can't even have in the open. That's by the way. There's no such thing as a perfect child. They all fight with their siblings. Some of the things that I would like to say to you, I won't be able to say to you, that's what I mean. Because if I do, it will overwhelm you. And then you will get confused instead of learning something. But if I do say it to the parents in the inner circle, of course, there's a process that they are going through. So it, they understand you know, where I'm coming from. It's a lot more easier. So that's why I want to say some things I will, I will not be able to actually say it in full. So please, pardon me. There's no such thing as a perfect child, right? They all fight with their siblings. They all ignore their chores. They all upset you one way or the other. I don't have perfect children. I am not even interested in raising one. So I often say that a child must be a child. It's your job to remain an adult. You must begin to pay attention to the things that we say. 
We must begin to pay attention to the things that we say to our children, especially when they upset you. We think that, you know, saying things with just words, when they upset us, we think that saying these things may not be, you know, they are not abusive since we're not hitting them. I've seen parents that say, oh, coach, but you say we should not hit. We're not hitting again. But at least we can just shout now. You need to be careful. Now, number one, children perceive shouting as a threat to their sense of security, safety, and confidence. I'm going to start from the top. One of the things that happens to children who are yelled at, who are yelled at a lot of the times is that they lose self-confidence. A child reached out to me to do it, but not a child, but a, a girl in 20s. She said to me, my parents are clerics and I have totally lost myself, ma. I am not a parent yet, but ma, please, I would just, I don't know what to do with my parents. I have lost myself. I don't know where to go to. I don't know how to do it. You need to understand that children perceive shouting as a threat to their sense of security. All right? Long-term exposure to shouting can result to fear. It can result to anxiety. It can result to loss of their self-esteem. You see young people who cannot really own their own. You know, I, I, I was having a conversation. Thank God Chedo is here. Chedo is a teens coach. All right, he coaches things, and then he's one of my people that I work with, right? And Chid was we had a session today, and I was still telling him. He shared with me, he said, Coach, the, the this thing that I, I ran today, you know, a few weeks ago, I realized that the children raised in Nigeria have this deficiencies. She, he said it was a global, was a global um, what's it called? A, a global challenge. And he said, I realized that there is a big problem with the way we are raising our children. You know, we started putting it up. And today, you know, I shared with him, I said, there are skills, there are habits that last and skills that transform. That should be your watchword when you're raising children intentionally. Again, have I not been able to explain and break this down for you? Habits that last and skills that transform. That's your watchword. It's your duty to go and find out what are the habits that last and what are the skills that transform. Your children, is, that's the, the cross of the matter in parenting. One of the reasons why you are shouting is because you do not even understand the aim of raising someone. When the aim of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. We think that when you actually, you know, just raise a child, scream like the child, you know, just come and, you know, just become one thing or the other, then you are raising that child. It is beyond all of that. You need to actually put, sorry about that. You need to actually put a lot in perspective, all right? Raising a child that we try, right? It's a big deal. Sorry, my, my stand, I need to um, deal with that. Okay. All right. I'm hoping that we're good. Um, All right. So sorry about that. My stand was um, a bit shaky, so I needed to fix it. Okay. Um, so you need to understand that raising a child, raising a child, go beyond. We go beyond a lot of the things. All right. For the others who are chatting, habits that last and skills that transform. Yes, it's one of the things that we're going to do you know, sometime in the year. So yes, we're going to talk about that. And I'm also going to answer all the questions as soon as I'm done. So please, 
permit me to just go through, run through. So now these are some of the issues. Long time exposure to shouting can result to fear. Today we're, we were having a conversation yesterday, today in the inner circle about you know, a child that had gone to school abroad and that was giving drugs. Now, when we analyzed it, we broke it down. And I shared something today and I said, if you raise a child, if you raise a child that is not able to say no to you, there's a problem with it. I might not be able to explain so much. Long-term exposure to shouting can result in fear, can result in anxiety, can result in stress, can result in insomnia, the coping mechanisms at all. Children who are exposed to long-term shouting have emotional issues. They have thwarted coping mechanisms. You need to be careful on these things. Yelling is as bad as physical abuse, and it can even get worse. Yes. You know, I don't even know who told us that when we yell at children, when they are doing something wrong, that we make them feel better. We actually make them feel worse. The problem with yelling is that it comes with, it compounds the problem. It's not just the loud voice that is the problem. It's only the loud voice, really. It's also the body language, the words that you use, which many times they are critical, they are insulting, they are judgmental, they are sarcastic. So if shouting is largely ineffective, it doesn't get the message across because children are often times too busy defending themselves. They totally miss the point. You know, I've said before that correction is not an emergency. When you correct a child, when you correct a child and you are constantly trying to make it an emergency, I must correct. No, 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 no. It shows your inability to manage your emotions. It is you that is the problem, not the child. Mm -hmm. I said it. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. We're all humans. We sometimes split. There are levels in yelling, right? You know, the different you know, levels and all of that. You need to understand it. You need to understand the yell meter to be able to understand it. Okay? We're going to share that in our challenge that is coming up in April. But intentionality makes you understand when and how you can fix it. Occasional yelling cannot do anything to your child. Let me share this one with you. Have you ever heard, right, that yelling at your child can change how their brain develops? Definitely not in a good way. Mm. But really, when you think of it, it looks like raising children without raising your voice all the time is inevitable. That is not true. Fear is one of the primary and universal emotions. It is centered on the primitive part of the brain that is called the amygdala. So when the child's brain is programmed with fear, coming from episodes of yelling, the amygdala will become overly active, and this will inhibit the child's brain from working on higher functions. What are these higher functions? So when you yell, the brain, that part of the brain of your child is actually changed so that your child will be inhibited. Remember when I shared about habits that last and skills that transform? Mm. When we talk about higher function in the inner circle, I always tell them about executive functioning skills. When we talk about higher function, we're talking about concentration. These are higher functions. So your child will be okay, but they can operate on higher functions. So you have concentration. You have reflection. You have learning. Learning is not in reading and writing. The true sense of it, learning. You have decision making. A lot of our children can't make decisions that they can thrive in. Then you have behavior planning. These are higher functions. So it's okay for us to say, but we turned out okay after being yelled at. Are we operating? on the higher function level. Habits that last and skills that transform. Um, I'm trying very much to be able to show you 
you know, what I can see so that you will be able to understand what I'm talking about. So the child's brain, it's when you now program it with fear that comes from these episodes of learning, you lose that child. Practically saying. That's why a lot of us are cowed. You don't notice. If somebody's doing something you can't say, it's wrong, you know, but you can say it. So for all the children, the words are even more harmful. So although a lot of the times when we yell, when we yell, right, many of the times, all we want to do is to gain control. Unfortunately, yelling, yelling unfortunately, actually, you know, makes you lose control of your behavior. And by that, you are constantly unable to manage what you're expressing. You're constantly unable to manage what you're expressing. You're, you definitely don't want your children's brain to develop abnormally. But at the same time, you can help it. Oh, yeah, I read your mind. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir, right? Yeah, because I've heard that before. So apart from yelling, what yelling does to your child, he also has a downside to you. Yelling raises your blood pressure, your heart rate, and your adrenaline level. So people who yell exhibit higher level of stress hormone. We have doctors here. Thank you. My friend is here. Kelechi is a doctor. Kelechi says she feels like crying. <laughs> yelling, actually, you know, if people who yell is a bit higher levels of stress, you know, hormone, that's the cortisol in their bloodstream over time. So you actually think, no, that's a way we raise our children like this. No, oh, no, right, right? There are a lot of factors that is contributing to the fact that we're having low life expectancy in Africa. And the way we raise our children is part of it. Oh, yes. The truth is, you're going to continue yelling if you never understand why you are actually doing it. So let me say this. If you find out your child is just misbehaved or done something wrong, it's okay for us to be angry. In fact, if you're not angry, you should check your pulse. But it's not okay to keep screaming. The most basic reason, you know, the most basic reason, right? And, you know, many people yell is that at some point we feel we're not being heard. Somebody, you know, chatted that. We feel we're not being heard. Yelling also stems from a place for need for control. Control is a form of verbal aggression. I hear you. If my children don't, if I don't yell, my children wouldn't listen. Well, let me tell you, again, you have programmed their mind that is only yelling that gets them to listen. Recent research actually points out that yelling makes children more aggressive physically and verbally. Oh, yes. Yelling in general, no matter the context, is an expression of anger. So it scares your children and make them feel insecure. This is a helpline parenthood. You can, you can goggle it. There are a lot of things that you can actually begin to do to do reprogramming. To do reprogramming. Stop shutting your children down in the name of, oh, that is how we were raised. I hear this all the time. People will say, hey, our parents did it. My mom is here listening to me, incidentally. My mom, I, I can't remember hearing my mom raise her voice. She's here. So, of course, you know, I'm not going to lie against her on a live broadcast. She's listening to me. I didn't hear her. When you actually begin to think about habits that last, like if you didn't hear anything here today, think about habits that last, habits that last, and skills that transform. Ask yourself, what I'm doing now, will they build it? Will I be able to build those habits that last and skills that transform? That is actually the 
real tagline for this session. Because we are constantly thinking that, oh, yes, when I yell, if I don't yell, oh, then nothing is going to change. And then we actually even brag about it. I see a lot of parents on the community say, oh, yelling is my thing. If you remove yelling, what is it in our parenting? You don't even know the danger of what you are putting both yourself through and your child. So it is important that you are, you, you, you are even understanding, right? Many of the times I see conversations on the, on the community on Facebook. I feel sorry. That's the word. I feel sorry. I don't just, sometimes I'm not able to sleep. I'm like, the work is, the work is crazy. And yet, we are here arguing every day. What are they saying? Is they say we should stop yelling. Who even does that? And we're just saying all sorts of things. Ask yourself, ask yourself, all of these things that, you know, that we're saying, right? Where, at what point has this actually given us in, in quotes, the results? The results that we are constantly looking for. The first time I realized that what we are fighting against are the higher functions. I want somebody to write it. Concentration, reflection, learning, decision-making, and behavioral planning. Our children are not able to exhibit this. Why? Because we do not even know the risk that, they, that we are running. We have children who can't stand on their own. We have children who we want, you know, to constantly be intimidated. You want to cow your child in your house. That's the only reason you, you want to be in control. You want to be in control. You want to, you want to tell your child how you feel, you know, this guy. After all, I am, I am the boss here. That's the only reason. You know, I was telling someone recently, thank you, Joy, for putting that. Concentration, reflection, learning, decision and behavior planning. These are the things that we are keeping our children away from learning. We think our children are learning, they are not learning. Go out there and go and see that our children are really not learning. We're just bringing uh, you know, certificates and just churning out. Go and think about it. If you have issues with concentration, children who can reflect, children who can learn, children who can make decisions, and children who can plan behaviors, then you would need to actually begin to work on this. So don't tell me that, oh, this yelling, this is how we're raised. I cannot learn any other thing. If you say you cannot learn any other thing, you cannot learn, unlearn, relearn, then there is a problem. Then there is a problem. You need to begin to understand that beyond just Screaming, what exactly are you putting into your children? The last session that we had, you know, uh, the, the, the speaker was trying to explain discipline. And we were like, ah, they said discipline, discipline is not a, a reward system. What does it really mean? And she said, discipline is structure. Do you know that that discipline you're fighting, discipline that is making me to sit here at 2 p.m. to actually talk to you every Tuesday? I came home yesterday. You know, people have said, you need to tell your children. You need to tell them about empathy. You know, you need to teach them so that they will know the things we're doing for them. Me, I tell them, no. When you teach your children concentration, higher function, concentration, reflection, learning, because you're planning and decision-making, you wouldn't need to tell them, Jack, about you be spending your money, doing everything for them. No, you will not. After this session, later in the evening, I'm going to share the card our children, you know, put in our, in, on our dinner table yesterday when we got back from work. In that card you read, thank you so much, mom and dad, for all you have done for us till this stage of our life. For the, for your, for the records, the twins will be 11 in April. And we have food on the table every day. No, I don't need to shout them to making food. 
That's an error. If you need to keep shouting, 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 already there are things you're not working on. The higher function is not working. You have actually altered the amygdala and it has become overly active. And now it is inhibiting the child's brain that is working on these higher functions. So your child is working on normal functions. It's those inhibitions that we're talking about. I, I told the parents in the inner circle in the March batch, you know, um, that joined, that we started yesterday in the induction. I said, the choice is yours. You can build a shanty, you can build a, 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 a mansion. A mansion, you need a lot of work. You need to you know, bring professionals, you need to bring, you know, stuff into place. That's what it's about. You can also decide, right? You can also decide that you can bring, um, what's it called? That you can bring um, 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 shanty. You can bring a shanty. Tarita said, but you're yelling at us. Yes, you guys deserve it. <laughs> you can bring a, a shanty, right? If there's a way I can break, break up your brain to put in, you know, some things. In fact, you will just, you will just not, I don't get it. Oh, yes, this is church. So just take it that you are in a service. <laughs> you are in a service assimilating this thing. I'm your pastor. Mm? Uh -huh. So, you know, a lot of the times we, we do a lot of these things without thinking. We don't think, we don't think some of these things. And it's fine. And, and it's fine, really. But when you now sit back and see, what do you people come to me and say, my children are struggling with concentration. They are struggling with even thinking through their process. They are struggling with, you know, doing this. They are struggling. It is because this amygdala has been, it's been overly active. So, these inhibitions in the child's brain is what reduces dysfunction. So, so it is, and when you yell also, your children yell back right at you. So like I was sharing, you don't need, you actually do not need to come and tell your children, oh, you know, I am doing this for you. Oh, they think, no, you don't need it. When you build these higher functions, when you build these higher functions, your children will be able to reflect. And when your children can reflect, they can come back and say, wow, thank you so much, mom, for all you do. Your children would would not need you to see them and I don't know after all the things I'm doing to you, after all the things I'm doing for you. Nah, you don't need it. You don't need it. If you find yourself at every point in time, at every point in time, you find yourself trying to assert authority, trying to assert authority, then there is a problem. You need to ask yourself questions. So trying to tell you that all the things I've done for you, you're still like this. There is a problem. Watch it. It is from you. It's not from the child. So it's my, 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 my real, um, my, my real aim today is to make you understand that raising children Number one of the aims to make you understand that raising children is about creating the habits that last and the skills that transform. Now, somebody is asking me, what do I do? How do I stop yelling? The good news is that you can actually reverse this. But for you to do that, you need to take responsibility. You need to take responsibility. Ask yourself these questions. Why? What do I need to do going forward? You know, people come in and they say, oh, wow. Oh, God, wow. Wow, wow. If you were in the inner circle now, I brought out my cane. But hey, I'm, I'm out here in the woods. <laughs> and, you know, constantly, we're constantly, you know, doing all of this. Time will not even permit me to share all the things that you know yelling can do to you raising your blood pressure and all of that we shared in the free guide you can find it you know it's a free guide it's available so if you want you know to have access 
you can reach out and have access to it. You can drop, you can, um, you can have, you can, okay, you can just say, um, give me the free guide. Because some of the things I shared here is also in that guide. It's free. We, we created it so that, you know, to create awareness, all right? But you know what? The truth of the matter is that all the things that you talk about, you know, raising children, all the jumping from one corner to another, all the caning your children, and you're not able to build these things that we're talking, it's actually a failed strategy. How do I build higher function? I love this question. You need to start from you. How do I look at myself and say, okay, do something? I need to do something. If you are in the inner circle, don't ask me for that free guide. It's already, you know, with you where you are, all right? Except you are not in the inner circle, that's when you can ask for it. So you can have, you have a response of the link for the free guide. So you just put free guide and then you will get, you know, response for it. But let's keep moving, right? And, you know, a lot of the times you find out that these things are beyond, and then there is a process. Remember, you have wired yourself. You have wired yourself for such a long time that, you know, yelling has become part of you. So when people even tell you, but you're shouting, I say, I'm not shouting. So that's it. You need to actually understand some of these things. Okay? So the things that we have been able to do for you is to also create a process that can help you work on yelling alone. You know? A process that can help you work on yelling. It's a challenge that we're starting on the 1st of April. Registration starts on the 12th of March. 12th of March, we take off 100 people into um, that whole stuff. If you want to you know, be part of it, you will see right in the guide how you can get details you know, to be part of it, all right? Or you can also say, no yelling challenge. If you put no yelling challenge in the comment section, we can send you details. Usually, that no yelling challenge for people who have taken it is usually 15,000 naira to have that no yelling challenge. But come the challenge that we're doing for that, you know, those 10 days come um, coming soon. What we are doing is that we are, we're giving you at the barest minimum where you're going to pay 4,999. That will be the fee. All right, yes, it's my best month. So I decided to do this rebate. And because I also know the challenges that yelling actually breeds, this is just, you know, a sneak peek of it. By the time you get into that challenge, I am going to show you many other things that you can actually, you know, begin to, you know, look at. But interestingly, you can register for the challenge from now. The good thing is if you register for the challenge, from now till my birthday, which is the 10th of March, then you get the free book. You get my book, From Yelling to Come Free. You get my book, From Yelling to Come Free. If you're registering from the challenge between now and the 10th, but after the 10th, that challenge, you won't get the free book, please. So no yelling challenge. If you put no yelling challenge, my team will respond to you. It is 4,999. 4, and that is the only time it's going to put out at this you know, say this is the lowest the lowest challenge will ever be, right? And like I said, I am doing it so that we can also get a lot of parents, you know, deal with this, work on this, and work with it. A lot of parents have reached out to us and say, oh, the inner circle, we may not be able to join the inner circle. They say, but at least you can, you know, do something on your journey. I want you to do something on your journey while you are, you know, doing all of this, right? So if you want to join the No Yelling Challenge, just put no yelling challenge just put no yelling challenge in the comment section and as soon as you have that no yelling challenge in the comment section if you pay between now and the 10th just just 10 days right eight days between now and my birthday you will get 5k <laughs> oh mayhem is the same thing <laughs> you will get um between now and that and my birthday but as soon as my birthday is over that's the end that's the end. I will give you that book from yelling to calm, free. Well, let me can have everything I've said here. Many more. The challenge, everything, everything, everything. You know, Chinya Robina, thank you. All right, because that challenge, um, Chinya Robina, help me respond um, with the, with the um, account details. If you're paying today, 
between today and the 10th, you get a free copy. That book is 3,000 naira. You get a free e-copy of that book, right? And you will start, you know, reading. Why we start the challenge? The challenge is coming, you know, soon on the 12th. And then we'll start, you know, uh, putting a lot of um, these things here. Yes, we're going to send you the registration details for the No Yelling Challenge. This challenge is going to, it's going to transform you. And I have a friend, she's here. I don't know if she's watching me. And she, she, she works for Facebook. And she, we met in the U.S., and I remember that when she joined the challenge last year, she was like, I don't even know what they're going to you know, do the care and all of that. Her review was unprecedented. Her review was something else, right? If you are not in Nigeria, we have links for you to pay, right? Um, I think um, um, I, I can't seem to see my team members here. I don't know if their network is disturbing them as well. So, but put in, we will certainly, if you want to be part of the challenge, we will certainly share with you Different payment options. We have different payment options, right, for you to actually get, okay? So if you are in the inner circle, like every other thing, you have your discount if you want to be part of the challenge. If you don't want to be, it's okay. But from the inner circle, we'll, send, we'll share the details with you from that end, all right? But the if you, if you get into the no yelling challenge, yes, the people in the inner circle can join the challenge. If you get into the no yelling challenge, there's a lot that you're going to learn. Of course, trust me. Yes, you can get a free guide. We will share the free guide with you. Trust me, we would not be able to actually help you, you know, with just this few minutes. Um, few, few minutes. Thank you so much, Inyorobin. I see you. We'll not be able to, you know, do this, a whole of the things I want to teach you in a few minutes. So that challenge is a whole 10-day job. You wake up every morning, we give you a task. And you will see yourself transform in 10 days. You can actually stop yelling. I have been there. And I'm telling you sincerely that you can stop yelling. Right? The inner circle parents have a lot of, have um, very big rebates on this. So don't bother with putting no yelling challenge. We will give you the details, right? Um, we will give you the details. I think you have up to a 50% off on it. So we will give you the details, okay? But if you're not in the inner circle, please just put no yelling challenge and we will share with you how to get, you know, make payment, be part of the challenge. Again, if you're paying within the next, you know, from now till my birthday, then you will be able to also get my book from yelling to camp. I want to, excuse me, I want to take the questions. Yes, we're going to share the link for diaspora for you. We're going to share a link for you to be able to make payment. We'll have a link that can take payment in six currencies. So you'll be able to make payment. You know, just put no yelling challenge here and we would respond to you. Okay, we would respond to you. The messages are coming so fast that, you know, um, they, they are not able to keep up. But it's fine. We would respond to you, all right? That challenge starts off um, on the... on. Um, um, soon, and um, we're, we're sharing with you um, the free guide. If you also want a free guide, you can also just put free guide and we will give you the free guide. All right, if you have questions, we'll have a few minutes, we'll have like five more minutes to be able to deal with this. You want to be part of that challenge, just put no yelling challenge. You begin to walk your journey. By the time you start your journey, right, on the no yelling, you will you will begin to see, in fact, Chino Robin, I think, um, had to pay as much as um, when she had that cause at, as much as 15,000, I can't remember. So this is, so to say, a giveaway, trust me, all right? It's my birthday on the 10th, so hey, I might as well, okay? So I would, we're going to have this challenge right on our Facebook community. We're looking, you know, at having, um, I think, 500 parents. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but the numbers, I'm not, I'm not very... Um, uh, I'm not very sure with the numbers that we will be able to take, but I know that between now and the 10th, between now and the 10th, if you make payment, you will get that no yelling from yelling to camp book, you know, free. All right, it's different from the guide. You, from yelling to camp book is different from the guide. I can't see the questions. So if you have no yelling challenge, just put in the comment section no yelling challenge. I'm trying to go back to our conversation so that I can see. If I can see the questions that people have dropped before now, right? Please, I'll find it. But if you if you feel 
that you can help me drop it again, please, I wouldn't mind. I would be grateful to see that, all right? So we have, yes, we're giving you a free guide. It's free, totally free, not in attached, all right? We'll send you a link for you to get that. When you ask a child to do something and she does not, okay, these are the reasons why you yell, the reasons why you yell, and all of that, okay? Thank you, 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 thank you. Um, this is me, I need help. Oh, yes, help is here. You can join the No Yelling Challenge. It's 49999. If you decide to give me the one naira to be able to drink water, it's fine. I will take it too, all right? But that's the fee, right? I am not a yeller, though. But being yelled at scared me, and I'm very sensitive to it, extremely sensitive. So sorry, um, I can't see any question. Okay, yeah, Sally, I see that. The way we talk to our children becomes their inner voice. Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Totally agree with you. Tag your friends, tag other parents so that they can come and hear this good news. This is parenting good news. That's what I bring for you every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Good news. Right, a child must be a child is a responsibility to be an adult. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jose, and thank you for sharing all that plan with me. Free guide, Pam Ella. Free guide. Oh, okay. If you are on, um, if you are right on um, YouTube, please send us a WhatsApp message with the with the pinned post that we have shared so that. We have pinned that post um, on our number, pin message. That message is pinned. Just send us a WhatsApp message and we'll share that guide with you. Uh, I, we, we can copy um, and share. Let me see if we'll be able to copy and share with you to pin it so that you will also be able to see it. Um, so that you will also be able to see it. That will be nice. All right? Somebody said, I'm in love with this topic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, yes, 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 yes. Wendy has a, a big, Wendy has been of a great impact. Thank you, Adewale. I see you. Thank you for that vote of confidence on me, Diayada. I see you. Thank you. Shouting comes with a lot of negativity that effect a lot of it. In fact, time wouldn't even permit me to actually do a lot of that. Yes, I see a question. What if when you speak in a normal voice and a child? Um, and a child looks at you, hears you, but doesn't respond, no matter how much you repeat yourself. So how can one be angry or spank such child? I really want to know. Now, the reason why when you speak, you know, in a higher, in a, in a voice and your child is not hearing you is simple. Simple because what happens is that that child simply is fighting something. The child can't hear you because you have actually model the child to only listen, to actually model the child to only listen at the things, okay, yeah? Look at look at it. If you're on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, I have pinned this post. I have pinned this post so that um, you will be able to download, right? Okay, awesome, awesome. Hmm. Okay, I think it's saying that we'll have a bit of... Um, have a bit of too much. Um, okay, so I hope that answers your question, sir. So once you have, um, once you have modeled your children, that is what happens. It's programming. It's programming. So they only get to listen to you when that program. So you need to, you need to reprogram them. That's the word. All right. You need to reprogram them. Okay, so it's the reprogramming that you need to actually work on, which is working on you not yelling. So if you're watching me, if you're watching me right on YouTube, you will see the free that guy tagged and you'll be able to download yours. Just click on the link and you will have it all there. So the free guide, um, I don't think I can pin messages um, here on, um, on um, Facebook so that you can just um, click on it. Right, so I am still looking for the for the questions. Please, if you want have a question, please I beg you, help us. Please, I beg you, help us reshare. Okay, please help us reshare for the free guide. Uh, my team will share with you 
the free guy. My first child is always timid whenever he wants to talk to me. And I feel I make him that way because of yelling. I don't know how he can regain his self-confidence back. Mom, you need to start by working on you. Because even if he regains his confidence, then your, the work will not work. As you're building his confidence, you need to also work on you not yelling. You're yelling so your child will naturally respond to yelling, right? And be cowed. So it is something that you can do, ma. right? If you need more info on this, you can send me a chat. My 11-year-old son does, doesn't do well academically. Could it be as a result of previous yelling? It can be. It inhibits um, concentration. It inhibits higher functions. And it could be. I, said it, I didn't say it is, but it could be. It is possible. How can I cope when you have no help and can't afford any help at the time? You need to work on you. That means your emotions are everywhere. So you need to deal with your emotions to be able to deal with that. So your emotions are just, you know, is something that you need to work on. I've really tried not to yell, but before the sun goes down, I, I fall for it over and again. Um, catch your best and go for this challenge. Get on this challenge, all right? Get on this challenge is going to help you. If you want to be part of this challenge, just put in the comment section, no yelling challenge. No yelling challenge, okay? No yelling challenge is one of our, is our, is our highest selling you know, product because it, it's, it's a big deal. And for every time there's, there are reviews, the reviews are, when you want reviews from the academy, trust me, we will show you reviews. So ask me for reviews when you wanted to come into the inner circle. I gave her 200 reviews and she was wild. So we have reviews. We've had over 2,000 parents go through this course. How can I cope when I don't have any help around? You will cope by working on yourself first. Working on yourself first, all right? Working on yourself. How do you apply no yelling to a two-year-old? The same principles, the same principles, you know, apply to this, this no yelling is the same principle. It's not for the black. It's not for the white. It's the same principle. I have my friend. Um, Celia, Celia, you know, um, and, and Celia, it's, I mean, Celia is American. It, when we teach in classes, me and Celia do a lot of stuff together. It's the same principle I share for our white audience. The same principle. When she, Celia is sharing for our Nigerian audience, the same principle that Celia shares, same principle. And it works for the black, for the white. My son isn't concentrating in class. Could that be because of previous help and yelling? It is possible, ma'am. If you need help, get into the No Yelling Challenge. We'll have all your questions answered. Please get into the No Yelling Challenge. Please, how can I stop my eight-year-old from crying over every little thing? Build your eight-year-old with, build the emotional bank of your eight-year-old. It's, it's very possible that your eight-year-old, your, it's not it's very possible. One of the reasons is that your eight-year-old is struggling to put their emotions in check. That's where the problem is. Your eight-year-old is struggling to put your emotion, their emotions in check, build their emotions. That could be one of the ways that you can do that. And if you do not have your emotions in check, your children will probably also struggle the same thing. Parenting is modeling. That's what parenting basically is. It's modeling, all right? Yes, if you're having issues with your child, you know, and, and there are things that is happening, Please, no yelling challenge will help you. Clara, Rosemary, you can only join the you no yelling challenge. We have shut down for the year for the inner circle. We are only working with the parents we currently have. And the next registration is for November against 2022. However, you would want to join the waiting list. I will share a link for the waiting list for you so that you can wait. When we start registration in November, it's only people, the first people we're going to attend to are the people in our waiting list. So, yes, we are not taking in people in the inner circle anymore. No, we are oversaturated. We want to give them the best. We've been announcing for the inner circle for the past three months. No, we're not taking in again, please. But you can get into the waiting list. My 13-year-old recently want me to understand his growth and can decide, especially on what type of food he eats. I yell at him because most of his choice of food is unhealthy, but he maintains that he's, he, even his position, you know, after educating him, I need help. You're not educating him, you're forcing him. 
and you're lording it over him. They're not the same thing, man. Yes, if you need help, get into the no yelling challenge. Put um, no yelling challenge in the comment section and you would get details of the no yelling challenge for you to um, be part of it. This no yelling challenge will transform you. I can assure you on my honor that it will transform you. So if you want, you know, you have any issue around yelling. Now, this is just yelling. You can get into it. We run several courses in the academy, right? At least, but if you want to join the waiting list of the inner circle, not a problem. We'll send you a link to join the waiting list of the inner circle. We would send you a link to join the waiting list of the inner circle. Let me see if we can pin um, a post. I don't think we can on this place, right? We can't pin a post, all right? So you can join the waiting list. Okay, pin comment. I've already pinned the comment. So I've pinned the comment. If you want to join the challenge, these are the details for the challenge. If you're in diaspora, please um, reach out and tell us um, that you're in diaspora. Um, please, can you share? Can we share? Um, Chinya, can you share the um, phone number to reach out when they make payment? We're sharing without a, a blank. We're going to share that as soon as I get off here. Augustine, if you can hear me, please do that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Augustine, for sharing. Okay. Thank you so much. So you can actually get this. You can actually get all the details, right? Um, I've pinned the comment. I've pinned the comment that we can see for us to get all the details on how to make payment to be part of the No Yelling Challenge. If you want to be part of the No Yelling Challenge, all you need to do is to put No Yelling. If you're a Yada, you want to be part of the No Yelling Challenge, don't worry putting No Yelling. If you're a Yada, you already know what I mean. All right? You have as much as a 50% off on the No Yelling Challenge. So please do not put, so we're going to get to you and tell you what it is that you need to, how you need to be part of it. All right. Thank you so much. Again, I said that if you make payment between today and the 10th for the challenge, then we I will give you my book free. But if you make payment after my birthday, no, you won't have it free, but you'll be part of the challenge. But cha the challenge, for all I know, is that the challenge will transform you. All right. Can't get the free, YouTube, free guide on YouTube. Oh, wow. But I pinned it. It's right on YouTube. It's right on our YouTube channel. The free guide is right on our YouTube channel on the pin post. If you're watching me on YouTube, look at the live chat. In case if you're catching replay, look at the live chat and you will see the, the guide, right? And the link for you to actually go through all of that process. Thank you again, again, and again, and again. So you can read through the guide. All the things I have shared today is in that guide. It is free. We decided, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways, discounts in the month of March. It is my bet month and it's also my anniversary month. So yes, we're going to be doing a lot of that. And uh, it is my way to say, you know, that, you know, to give back as well and all of that. So we will give you the free guide, but if you want to join the inner circle, if you want to join the, did I say, sorry, if you want to join the No Yelling Challenge, just put No Yelling in the comment section and you get details. Thank you everybody. Thank you very much, right? Thank you very much for everything that you do. Um, thank you for always coming here at 2 p.m. every day, every Tuesday to be here, right? Thank you. I think I saw it on TIP um, FB community. Yes, it's also on our team. I think my team also shared it, you know, earlier in the day, you know, um, that free um, stuff. You can get the free guide, please. You can get the free guide. Thank you everybody for being here. If you are, um, if you're watching me for the first time, please let me know if you got value for this from this class. I know that the people have, who are repeat watchers, of course, uh, here because they are always um, getting value. But if you got value for this session, particularly, please just tell me that you got value. And if you want to join the no yelling challenge, please put no yelling challenge in the comment section. Thank you, everybody, for all you do and all that you do for the child, the African child. I am particularly, particularly, I want to really, really transform the way we raise our children, right? Hi, Patricia. That makes the two of us. Congratulations to you, all right? <clears throat> all right? P children don't listen or follow instruction because they don't understand or they can't process what you've said. Oh, yes. That is also very true, Dr. Angela. Thank you so much.
Thank you, everybody, as I go back, you know, into the yard. Until um, Tuesday, I will be in the yard in the inner circle. If you want to join the inner circle, you have to reach out to me to join waiting list. I'm sorry, we cannot admit you again. We are done. But you can join waiting list and be, you know, with us, you know, when we register. Thank you so much. All right. Said I got a lot of value. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can also join us. Follow us on, um, on, on YouTube. For watching on YouTube, remember to subscribe. We share other videos and all of that. Thank you. You can also reach out to us if you have other problems, all the issues. We're here to help you burn better. Thank you, everyone. Dear leaders, see you in the yard. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and do have a nice day.